Good day learners! Are you ready to have fun with math? How do you feel today? I hope you are all okay. I am your teacher Anne and let's make learning more fun. Before we start, here are some reminders to keep in mind. Number 1. Stay alert and focus the video lesson. Number 2. Prepare your pen and paper for your answer sheets. Number 3. Sit back and relax as you enjoy our learning for today. Good day, Grade 9 learners! For today's episode, I'll be guiding you in Week 6 lesson for the third quarter, which is Similarity of Figures. Are you ready to listen? Okay! Then, get your copy of Mathematics 9 Compendium of Notes, Pen, and Paper with you. Let us start! Look at the figure. What you observed? Very good! They have the same shapes but different in size. This is an example of similar figures. But what is a similar figures? Similar figures are figures with the same shape but not necessarily with the same size. The symbol used to express similar is verde or a baby-like line to show that two polygons are similar. It is read as similar to. Look at the two quadrilaterals. DCBA and HGFE. What we have observed about their shape and sizes. Okay, very good. They have the same shape but different size. Therefore, the two quadrilaterals are similar. So, quadrilateral DCBA is similar to HGFE. Aside from having the same shape, what makes them similar? Let us answer this question after studying their corresponding sides and corresponding angles. Corresponding means parts of two polygons that are in the same position. Let us study similar polygons. Let us consider the quadrilaterals we used in our previous examples, DCBA and HGFE. Observe the corresponding angles and corresponding sides of the quadrilaterals. You can all sides the lengths of the sides of quadrilateral DCBA using variables in order to represent the length. Also, all angles of quadrilateral DCBA measures 90 degrees. Sides HG and EF measures 8 cm, while sides HE and GF measures 4 cm. And also, all angles of quadrilateral HGFE measures 90 degrees. Now, let's compare corresponding angles first. Angle B corresponds to angle H, and they both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, angle D is congruent to angle H. Angle C corresponds to angle G, and they both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, angle C is congruent to angle G. Angle B corresponds to angle F and they both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, angle B is congruent to angle F. Angle A corresponds to angle E. They both measure 90 degrees. Therefore, angle A is congruent to angle E. Now, let's compare for a corresponding side. Segment DA corresponds to segment HE. Therefore, the ratio is 2 over 4 or that is 1 half. Segment EB corresponds to segment EF. Therefore, the ratio is 4 over 8 or that is also 1 half. You can see that corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides have a common ratio. Therefore, we can say that quadrilaterals DCBA and HGFE are similar. Notice that by pairing the corresponding vertices, corresponding angles consign perfectly. It can be observed also that corresponding angles are congruent. The conditions observed in similar polygons, DCBA and HGFE, help us point out the characteristics of similar polygons. So, we can say now that two polygons are similar if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional. Now, that you know what makes polygons similar, you can now answer illustration number 3. 
how do you express the proportionality of the sides using the ratios? Well, we will mix the ratios and equate it. The answer is what we call the scale factor. It is a number that describes the ratio of two corresponding sides of similar polygons. Let us try to solve this one. Given the figures and the lengths of their sides, are the polygons similar? Let us solve. For side 1, we have 8 corresponds to 4 or that is 2. And for side 2, we have 2 corresponds to 1 which is also 2. For side number 3, 10 is corresponds to 5 or that is 2. For side number 4, 12 corresponds to 6 which is 2. Now, what is our scale factor? Very good! Therefore, the sides are proportional and the two polygons are similar. The ratio of the corresponding sides, which is 2, is called the scale factor. Marks can be used to indicate proportionality of corresponding sides of figures as shown in triangles ABC and DEF. Let us find the scale factor of these two triangles and identify if they are similar. To find the scale factor and to identify if they are similar, we will follow this step. First is to identify the sides that are corresponding with each other. As you can see in the figure, segment AB corresponds to segment DE which is equal to 10 over 20 or that is 1 half. And segment BC corresponds to segment EF which is 6 over 12 or that is 1 half. And for the third side, we have segment CA corresponds to segment FT, which measures 7 over 14, or that is also 1 half. Now, what is our scale factor? Very good. The scale factor is 1 half. Therefore, the sides are proportional and the two polygons are similar. Let us find the value of x of this figure. How are we going to look for it? Always remember that in a proportion, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. So how are we going to solve it? So these are what we are going to do. First, since the two triangles are similar, we're just going to look for the corresponding sides. So we have 13 corresponds to 39, which is equal to 5 corresponds to x. Next thing to do is to look for the value of x. So how are we going to do that? Just do the cross multiplication. So while doing the cross multiplication, we will have the result 13x is equal to 39 times 5. Do the perform or perform the operation, we will have 13x is equal to 195. And then Divide both sides by 13, we will have x is equal to 15. Therefore, the value of our x is 15. Remember that proportion plays a very important role in determining measures of the corresponding parts of similar polygons. We can say that polygons are similar if their vertices can be paired so that corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional. To find the scale factor, we simply create a ratio of the lengths of two corresponding sides of two polygons. So we were able to learn about similarity of figures. Well, that's all for now. I hope you learned a lot today. Till next time, keep safe!